He's all a cooking show. Anyway, making a badass turkey meatloaf. It's going to be fucking awesome. I guarantee you. Also doing this gives some people I know a chance to see the apartment we moved into. Anyway, first thing is we're going to need for this turkey meatloaf. Ground turkey. About two pounds of it there. Which got from a place called John's Market. It's $1.99 a pound, so pretty good. Over here, Armenian feta. This shit is bomb. Also from the same store. Spinach. I'm not shaving anyone's balls. That'll be my wife in the background. Say hi, honey. Hi, honey. You're okay. Got the cilantro there. Bean sprouts, cherry tomatoes. Mmm. I'll pop your cherry tomatoes. Screw you. I'll do it again. Make you like it. Anyway, and then we have mushrooms. Also, want to add oatmeal and breadcrumbs. You know, I like using both. You know, both of us, like, you know, so to keep it so it sticks together. And also kind of adds a little flavor to it, too, and makes it bigger. Basically, what we're doing is making something tasty and also something that has some leftovers of, basically. So, let's go on to mixing this. Okay, as you can see, I've been mixing everything up. Also, we got to mention, you might want to throw some garlic in there. I chopped up some fresh garlic and threw it in there. And, uh, I see you looking at me. Give you some meatloaf now. But anyway, I chopped up some garlic in here. We will not have any ass meatloaf. No ass loaf. But anyway, back to the meatloaf. There's 100% ass free. Well, maybe there might be some turkey ass in it. I don't know. I didn't grind up the turkey, but it should taste even if there's turkey ass in there, that's some good turkey ass. But anyway, what we do, we got everything mixed up, the garlic, the spinach, and tomatoes, as you can see. It looks kind of colorful right now. Now, normally a lot of times when I'm making meatloaf, I'll also, you know, fry and chop up and fry some bacon and throw in there, too. And if you, I mean, which is, which is fine if you do that, I mean, but if you do that, it's better if you get like the thick cut bacon because it tastes so much better. It's just got more flavor to it. That shit just pops in your mouth. But anyway, we're going to mix this up. Might have to add a little bit more breadcrumbs to it maybe. Hard to do this with one hand, but you know. I'm my own camera person right now. Spank the meat! Spank it! You can't see it, but my, my wife is in there has a horrified look on her face right now. Apparently, spank the meat was very horrifying for her. Is that Armenian feta again? Feta? Little, little, little. It's feta. Can't talk straight right now, excuse me. Uh, let me mix this up and then we're gonna put this in the baking pan. Put it in a nice baking pan. Looks more like a meat cake than a meat loaf, the way I got to spread it in there. It's a meat cake! Happy birthday! But yeah, we got that in here. And we got cheese sprinkled on top of here. Normally, like a lot of times I make meat loaf, I'll uh, put like ketchup or tomato sauce on top of it and then the cheese. Uh, sauce can, when you have the ketchup or t tomato sauce on top, it kind of bakes on the, on the top. 
But considering the fact I have feta in here and everything with the flavoring of the feta, that might inter you know, the two might not work. So we're just gonna work with this. Now, meanwhile we have our oven that was preheating at four fifty. Nice and hot. Ooh. Let's turn the light on so you can see the action there. Ooh. Take our meat cake. And we put it in the oven without burning ourselves. Leave that in there about 30, maybe 45 minutes. Basically until it's done. The top's nice and crispy and delicious, and it's cooked on the inside. So, we close it up. Now, next, to go with our meatloaf, we're going to make a salad. The thing we're going to do, do a spinach and tomato and mozzarella salad, which is basically pretty simple. It's pretty self-explanatory. Spinach. Spinach. Mm. I'm going to add some cherry tomatoes I'm going to cut up. And mozzarella. Now, normally for this, you would want to uh, use like the um, the big balls of mozzarella, you know, and just put the slices. That way, you have pieces of it in there. But well, shredded was cheaper, and I'm a broke ass, so it'll still be tasty. It'll still be mozzarella. It's just won't be as aesthetic, you know, but it'll still be tasty. And then once it's all made and everything, put some balsamic vinaigrette. Over it. That's right, you saw the brand name. I don't give a fuck. Ah! Look like. Anyway. So, yeah, that'll be our salad. Meanwhile, the. As you can see, the meatloaf is still cooking. It's just it's smelling wonderful right now. That shit needs to get done quick. Ah, uh, brother's getting hungry. Tom! Alright, now we're filming. Now we're filming now. We're filming this shit. About to pull it out now. Yes, these are lavender pajama pants I'm clicking in. So that's how it was in Van Nuys Rolio. Yep. So I don't know what the fuck all that was. I don't right. know either, but let's pull this thing out. Oh! Check out that fucking goodness! What's going in my mouth? Ooh, let's cut this up here. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm not obviously going to have this for dinner, but I want to cut a couple pieces. Like a whole piece of cake. cake. Yeah. Because I want to... We're going to try this on camera until it came out. So you know we ain't, we ain't fucking around here. No, we don't. We just don't fuck around. Yeah. We got drop shit. Oh, mm, what are you... Hang on. Just, just focus on that delicious piece of food. Yep. Yeah, you might need a help. Yeah. yeah. Put that over there. Just here for a moment. Yeah. Let's try. Blows this off and give something to the camera person. Don't do it to me because it means I have to film me eating it. No, you don't have to. You can describe it behind the camera. Uh, all right. Okay. Let's describe how it tastes. Well, it doesn't taste like your mom. Okay, now how does it taste? It was fucking awesome. Can you describe what's, what's going on in your mouth right now? I chewed and I swallowed. That's pretty much what happened. Can you guys tell that I don't want to fucking be filming this? I'd rather eat dinner. And this, this fat fuck sitting here shoveling in his face while I'm holding his phone filming this shit. Oh. It's pretty damn tasty. Everything works together really well. Got everything. Super cheap. So it was, a very, it was also a cost-effective dinner as well. Your mom's a... <coughs> Sorry. So, hopefully you enjoyed this episode here. 
If you don't, that's just too fucking bad, because... We're gonna... Hopefully you enjoy this episode like we're about to enjoy dinner. Hell yeah! If not, well... Eat a cheeseburger and choke on a cow dick or something. Yep. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, and... Hope you like more that we make. Yep. Well, See ya, we're gonna go eat. Ah.